Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of my new Meiji Restoration game. We're playing as the Japanese Shogunate in Victoria 3 with the Voice of the People DLC. We are working our way through our mission tree, or mission tree, we're working our way through um, our journal entries trying to get the Meiji Restoration to fire. We're enacting laws as we can. Um, hopefully we can continue to weaken the Shogunate um, and get them to a point where we can actually push for some other um, form of government that would uh, break up the Shogunate and give us a um, much better point um, where we're at. Homesteading I can't really put through because that would really irritate the Shogunate cause a revolution which we cannot really afford to do at the moment. Um, I would like to get rid of peasant levies because that would once again weaken their uh, political strength. So let's try and push through professional army again. We're, we're going to basically jump back and forth between that and um, that and uh, changing our police force um, as our best options to adjust everything. Now let's make sure we have the road maintenance edict here. I need to cancel it somewhere. We are building up there, though, so that's fine. I'll even throw it down here, too. Why not? Okay, we can go ahead and cancel it now that we're not building there anymore. Backroom dealings exposed. A stall in the push. Enactment time. And gain a setback. Enactment success chance in bureaucracy or enactment success chance and popularity. No matter what I do, I'm getting a setback. So, I guess we will go with... I guess we'll take this, because... Legislative Failures is going to rewrite the bill and put it back out there. I just need some luck. I need a little bit of luck to give us something to push this through. Anything, really. We did double our literacy in the first episode, which is nice. That should continue to boost up the rate that we're gaining our laws and everything. And we get a boost to our enactment success chance, so there we go. Hopefully we can get this law adopted and it won't fail at the last minute like the last time we did. I, I'm not sure if it was this one or the police force, but the one failed literally at the last minute. Which was absolutely awful. I'm going to go ahead and just queue up one chemical plant. I don't want to go crazy with them right now, but getting one out there I think is a good idea. We got our law to the consideration phase, so that is about halfway done for us. That is good. That is good. I'd definitely like to see that. Uh, we're definitely going to want to cancel the road maintenance edict here and start... Eh, we only got the one place we're building, so that's good. I like having our things all in order. Continuing to raise our literacy. Well, I don't want to hurt my enactment success chance since I have a little bit of it, so I'm going to go with the enactment time. The bureaucracy hit is pretty brutal, but it is what it is. With any luck, we'll be able to push this stuff through. Increase the enactment success chance once again. All right, we're, we're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. Anything to weaken the Shogunate. That is what we need. Yeah, that is ideally where we are. Either way, we're going to take a hit to our Nackman success chance. I guess... Spending a little bit of money and not losing as much is better than taking a setback. 
even if we would gain a little bit more success chance. Line infantry has been unlocked. Not really going to do anything with that at the moment, but we did get it. Paper has become expensive. And there goes a hit to our enactment success chance. Oh. We were doing so good for a minute. I was really hopeful. <laughs> I really was. And there we go. I don't know what's going to happen. Legislative failures. At least we're still in the consideration phase. But I got a feeling that this bill was about to die again. Yep, this bill's dead. So that bill is dead. I guess we go back to trying to put through local police force. We're going to go ahead and swap out the road maintenance edict. Once again to keep pushing through our buildings. We're going to want to build another paper mill. I'll actually build a couple more just to get us in a spot where we're fine. Alright, we got a 10% there. There's not really much we can even do to, like, even if we were to reform our government, like... Bringing the intelligentsia is just going to screw everything up. I don't think we can get any kind of a legitimate government with the intelligentsia in it. Could get something going with the... rural folk, but not much. Yeah, as long as the shogunate is this powerful... I don't know, is our only chance to do a full-on rebellion and hope for the best? I'm going to take the setback to get the boost our success chance. I feel like that's our best option there. Continue to pop around our road maintenance edicts to maximize our construction time. This just never, it's never helpful. Just never helpful. It just stalls all the time. I know it's because we're not, we don't have much chance on these, but man. I would like some luck, you know? Just a little bit. There's another setback, and this law is going to die too. And we're finally on the last of our mill techs. And we can start really pushing for some of these. So I'm going to want nitroglycerin. I'm going to want atmospheric engines. I'm going to want mechanical tools. We're going to need to get a lot of these things going to really boost up our economy. I should probably look into building some coal mines. So we'll get some of those built up in Kyushu. Because we're going to need them. We can go ahead and stop this road maintenance edict and start up this one. A boost to success chance. I'm not hopeful though. I'm going to stop getting my hopes up on these laws. What is using sulfur? Oh, the chemical plant. We're going to need a sulfur mine. Let's build one sulfur mine. 
in Kyushu. And I'm going to go ahead and queue that up a little bit higher in the settings so we can get that fixed. We got to the consideration phase. Let's see if we can push this further. I did say I wasn't going to get this set up or get excited about this, but I guess I will. This is probably our best chance to get something going. They want state religion. I don't think I want to pass state religion. Leader of the Rolling Samurai has enough compromise of coalition partners. He has demanded that either his collaborators follow his orders, or the Samurai will never approve this change. Let's go for this. They should be too... Oh. Man. 5%. Oh man, that, that hurts. Please, please, please give me something. Give me something, give me anything, please. Could we get an agitator involved? Um, this is the one we can get free trade. In exile, he's Australian and he's Protestant. I don't know. Enact tenant farmers. Alright, that notion is done. Let's try and push this through. Because this shouldn't upset too many people and there is some want for it. So, we'll definitely go for that. I do need to consider boosting up any more of this. Because food production is going to be important. <laughs> right away. This game can be so irritating sometimes. Alright, what are we looking at? Clothes, luxury clothes, nothing important is really weak. I mean, fabric we could probably use a little bit more. Peasantry rebranded. Um, I don't really want to drop the Shogunate approval any more than it already is. At least give me debates, come on. Debates with some sort of positive outcome would be nice too. There's crystal glass. Now, we would have a shortage of lead going for that. So there we go, army reserves is taken care of, and now we're going to push through onto these level 2 technologies. So these should all give us some nice boost to where we're at. I am going to, I guess, acquiesce to their demands. I don't really like the new setup here because it is a lot harder to look at where your interest groups are and where you can change get your uh, what positives you're looking for enactment time 
I, I, I think we can just go with the reduced enactment time. That's not that big of a deal to me. Uh, we have row maintenance down here. I lost track of where I was at on these, so... We do want to get some of those taken care of. We're into the consideration phase, so we are making progress. Even though it is little progress, it is progress nonetheless. Put it back up here. We do still have a nice boost for enactment success time, so we should get these laws through a little bit faster. Of course the law stalls. Of course it does. Finally getting to a point where we're making a decent amount of money as well. Yeah, wooden fabric are our two biggest deficits at the moment. This is going to cause a setback. Do I want to risk it? Or do I just take the bureaucracy hit? They definitely have adjusted it so uh, it is a lot harder to really push through bills instead of just sitting on them and waiting and hoping or jumping back and forth between them. There's a lot more steps to it now. I would love to get this through, though. I know this one's going to be really hard. Backroom dealings exposed. It's going to be a setback no matter what. So I might as well take this setback... with the least bureaucracy hit. All right, so we have two setbacks. We have a 15% chance to get this through. With any luck, it will go through, but I highly, I'm highly doubting it at this point. There really isn't much else we can do to really gain ourselves any kind. We're in the adoption phase, so basically we're at a roll of the dice to push this through at this point. Our literacy is still going up nice and strong. Our radicals are getting a little more out of control, though. Well, we have to go this route, otherwise the bill's dead in the water, so... I guess we'll roll with the 5% success chance and hope for the best. And the bill is dead. I mean, I tried. I don't think I can eke out any other boosts for this. I mean, even with the government reform, if I bring in the clergy, All that really helps us push through is state religion and hereditary bureaucrats, which I don't want to push through anyway. Uh, so if I were to not do the clergy and do, for instance, you guys and maybe even push out the samurai. I 
Same deal. Hereditary bureaucrats is about the best we're going to get. If I bring in the intelligentsia... Same deal. Like, there's not much we can do to boost it, so... I mean, I guess I'll bring these guys in to give us a better legitimacy. And then hopefully we can pass one of these laws. I guess I'll attempt for a professional army once more. I don't really know what else to do, though. I'm kind of at a loss as we just meander with these bills and hope, hope one of them goes through. There's a lot more support for tenant farmers now, so... Maybe we'll get lucky? And it stalls. Legislative failures. Rewrite the bill. Put it back out with a setback with no additional boost to it. Try it one more time. This is starting to get a little bit old, honestly. Seven percent chance. That's a little boost. Seventeen percent. Money's hit a little hard right now, but that's because our taxes aren't in a good place. And there's a hit. Oh. Gold depleted in Hokkaido. That means that we could build a gold mine, correct? Let's get that started. That is unfortunate. Legislative failures goes back to 6%. It's another bill dead in the water. There's 10% chance. And then a 50% loss. I'm calling it right now. Definitely feels a lot harder to pass laws in this new setup. Maybe I should just peeve off the um, samurai, the shogunate, and try and start a revolution that way. Just take the hit to the success chance, it doesn't matter. Starting to feel pretty uh, hopeless in a lot of these regards. <laughs> Every one of these laws I try and pass just flounders. Flounders, flounders, flounders. And there we go. Law's dead. Um, could change to a theocracy. Charity hospitals. I'm just going to try and push through local police force. Give me something. Give me anything. I will take any little crumbs you're willing to give me game. Otherwise, I'm just going to get desperate and push for a revolution. The problem, obviously, being that... Probably not going to go pretty. All right, we got a plus 10% there, followed by a minus 15, I'm sure. All right, now that is interesting because we need more coal and sulfur. So here we need more coal. If we come over here 
and get more coal, what does that do for us? Alright, another boost there. Things are starting to look up a little bit. Here we need more sulfur, so what if we do the same with sulfur? Get ourselves a little bit more lead. We're in the consideration phase on the law. We're not currently building anything, so we need to fix that. What's our market looking like now? We're actually on the positive with explosives. Did I put explos explosives on the iron mine yet? What's that do for us? Puts us in a little bit of a negative. So we're gonna build one more chemical plant. We got road maintenance there already, so we're good. We'll throw road maintenance here too. I just want to double check. Okay. And then where else do we sit on our market? We need more fertilizer and more fabric and more meat. So we can combo that by getting like two more of these built. We'll build them in Kansai as well. I'm not too worried about the luxury guilds or goods they don't worry me it's a lot of these other ones that i am iffy on making sure we're good with there goes a 15 percent hit to our enactment success chance of course If we boost our glass production, we would need more on our lead mine. So maybe if I throw out one more lead mine. Legislative failures. We got to rewrite the whole bill. Going right back to 7% with one setback. So finally made some progress and now we're losing it. And we're going to have to rewrite it once more. Alright, so building wise now we have pumps. Which means we'll put one there. And then we need to work out our shortage of coal. I can actually probably go through and cancel this lead mine for now. We don't need it. Definitely put that on the gold mine as well. There's a boost. Maybe we can get to the adoption phase at least. Kyushu eruption. That's going to cost us money. And the devastation is not going to help either, obviously. Lead shortage in the Japanese market, so maybe we should build that lead mine and... and I did change my mind. We will build it. The livestock ranches are going to help. There's the law stalling. This law is dead. So much disappointment right now. So much from me. So we need fabric. I'm going to build at least one cotton plantation. Hopefully that'll help us out with the fabric shortage a little bit. Having a building exclusively making fabric should be good for us. There's the dead law. All that good progress. All that good progress. Gone.
just throw me some sort of bone here, game, please. I'm begging you. I'm begging you for any little scrap of anything good. But I think this is a good place to end this episode. If you're liking the series, I'd appreciate a like. If you're really liking the series, I would appreciate a subscription, and I really hope to see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.